planning to be productive is hard work and I'm going to try and experiment with categories and outlook and see how it works with the different applications. I'm going to use and try and follow the availability that we have within uh, Teams. So green being available, uh, red being busy, yellow being I'm away and we don't have a purple and I don't have something for red that has a white line through it. So I'm going to use the purple category and I'm going to use, I guess, brown M&Ms to show when I'm focusing. So how does this work? Well, first of all, let's go into Outlook. Um, what I'm using is categories. So I've got some uh, events that I'm planning here, things that I'm going to do, and I've got uh, some focus time. So what I've done is use categories here, just given it the purple category, nothing special, but at least whenever I want to plan something in my calendar, I'm going to use this category. Really clear to see that this is focus time. Now the next one is away. I do want to plan and show when I'm away so that when people are booking time, they can clearly see in my calendar, I plan to be out of the office and lunch is a good reason to do that. Now the other one that's often happens, you know, you book some time in your calendar, whether it be for tasks or if you're um, attending a meeting, then it does just show as busy. In fact, that's the default. So, you know, when you are booking that time, it's going to show as busy. Can't book over that time, can book over that time. Sometimes people do. <laughs> the last one seems a bit odd, but it's a kind of a task where um, I want to show that I'm available. So I'm, I'm actually doing some work but it's, it's low focus. It's something that I don't have to concentrate on much. So I wanna show myself as being free and available to take calls, answer messages. Yeah, just available for the team. So that actually starts me on that path. I wanna talk about levels of focus here. So that low, low focus, I don't have to concentrate much, I can get stuff done. Busy. Well, I, I do need to focus, but I'm also not trying to shut myself off from the world. So I'm letting people know that I'm busy and I'm working on things, but I'm also willing to take a call, willing to let that busyness be interrupted in my terms. And when I'm away, um, I don't want people to be messaging me, and I really want to clearly show that you know I'm stepped away, I'm taking a break from work, so that's why I'm using that yellow. There's no focus involved at all. In fact, I'm not focused. I'm away from work. But the focus time, that's the key one. Purple. Clearly trying to say, don't touch me. Don't interrupt my work. I'm trying to really get some creative stuff done. I need to write. I need to think. I need to plan. I need to strategize. I don't want any interruptions. So that's purple. Now, apart from assigning categories in colorful ways, and it's gonna look great in my calendar, but I'm trying to take it to the next level, and hopefully you've stuck around to hear this. Not only am I using colors, but I'm also using a few tricks that are going to automatically change the way that I am presented online, what my availability is in Microsoft Teams. So let's start with this. Did you know that when you right click on a event, calendar item, and if it's in your power, <laughs> to show that time, show that time as. Then if I'm available and I show myself as free, that means that when I hit that event, I'm green. I'm available in Teams. When, a typical default one, I book some time on my calendar. Usually by default, that says show is busy. So that just means that. I'm not interrupting, or I am working on work, but I could be interrupted. It also means that when people are using that scheduling assistant, they can tell that Daryl's got some planned work, but maybe we can negotiate to get some of that time. Um, this other one that I'm using here for away, for lunch, and I've started using it recently. I use show as and out of office. Now, that means, and it's less likely that people are going to book over my lunch, <laughs> maybe, but I'm away from my desk. I'm away, 
I'm kind of out of the virtual office. I might not be out of the physical office, but I might be. And it's a good way to show clearly that, you know, I, I can't try not to book me over this time. You know, um, this last one is interesting. So focus time. We have a service, uh, Microsoft Viva uh, Insights, which lets you book blocks of focus time. And that can be on a regular basis. You can use certain rules to do this. But not many people know that if you put focus, the word focus and colon, and then write the subject of what you're going to be focusing on, that Microsoft Teams will see that and it'll change you to do not disturb. And that's pretty cool. I wish there was a slightly easier way to do that. In a classic Outlook, when I choose a block of time before I create the appointment, there is a button up here to say, add focus time. That's okay. Um, but all it does is it just adds that prefix of focus and colon. So if you can learn to do that and add that to your own events, then uh, you'll be fine. The other thing that I've done just to help the colors stand out quite a bit is uh, I've changed my calendar to uh, a gray color. So that just means any event that I haven't categorized, it's going to be gray and maybe it just reminds me that I should categorize it. Yeah, but for all of those things that um, I might try and use to show as time, then it's going to take care of setting my online availability, which is kind of cool. So we could see that in action. Um, as this focus time comes up, then we're going to see down here in Teams that my status is going to change from available to do not disturb. So let's, uh, let's check that out soon. My suspense is killing me. Seconds away from it changing to do not disturb. Seconds away from changing to do not disturb. Interesting. So it didn't work. So it turns out it was wrong. Not surprising there. But let's uh, see how this is supposed to work. Uh, so I explained earlier that if you use Classic Outlook and you choose this Add Focus Time when you choose your block of time, then it's going to do more than just add focus colon to the subject, but it's also going to do something in the background that will mark it as do not disturb time. Um, so let's set this up to make sure that it will click over at 5.15 in a couple of minutes time and new time to focus. And we'll see how that works out. We'll choose the category, focus time, so that it stays with our pattern of choosing focus time. Um, but you'll notice that I have not changed show as busy. It's, I've left that. We're going to see it change automatically for us. So what time is it? I've uh, got a couple of minutes to wait. All right. Available to do not disturb. There it is. Boom. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Anyway, on with the rest of it. But when it changes to focus time, um, then you've got going into do not disturb. You're not going to get notifications. You're not going to get calls. It gives you that focus time. Whereas these other statuses like busy, you're still going to get notifications. And definitely when you're making yourself available, when you show your appointment or your block of time is free, then you are seen as available. So you're letting people know that they can contact you. So I'm going to try that experiment for a bit. 
Um, my calendar is going to look very colourful. You know, one of the great things about it too is that it's not just um, blocks of time that I create, but also I can look at a um, an event that I've been invited to, and I can also categorise that and show it as I don't know focus time, for example. That's going to make that appointment um, busy. Note though too, I haven't accepted the invite, so I would want to try and show that time as busy here. Even though I haven't, um, even though I haven't accepted it, I can change that time, and it's going to change the way that Teams will change up my online status, showing whether I'm busy or not, and also to people who would be trying to to book my time using the calendar. So, interesting way of uh, dealing with categories in a colourful way. Visual reminders to show when I'm, you know, blocking out time for focus. Uh, time when I'm stepping away from my my work and actually taking a break. And then the, the ability to low focus tasks where I could be available to take calls, answer messages, have office hours, ask me anything during that time, or the typical busy. So if you like this colourful experiment and you want to follow along with me and see how it works, I will do a follow-up and let you know in maybe a month or so's time. Uh, this is my own environment, but I'm going to try it at work and see how it sits. And um, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.